Do what God's teaching says. When you only listen and do nothing, you're fooling yourselves. Those who hear God's teaching and do nothing are like people who look at themselves in a mirror. Now, I was listening to Priscilla Shower the other day, and she said something that was very profound on her show. She said that the enemy doesn't mind you hearing the word of God, cause, and he's okay with that. He's okay with you listening to the word, but when you get up and start doing something with the word, then that's when he has a hard time. Hello again, God's beautiful people, and welcome to another edition of 5 Minutes. It's the show that's committed to bringing you uplifting and inspirational word to help you through those hard times. In last week's messages, we were talking about knowing God's wisdom, and his wisdom is only for those who seek to be perfect before him, and hearing the word of God leads to gaining valuable wisdom. But what good is the wisdom when I keep it what I've learned in my back pocket? Now, what did James mean when he says to be doers of the word and not and not hearers? Think of this. Your doorbell rings. You hear it, but you don't get up to answer it. It keeps ringing. It keeps ringing. You hear it, but you do nothing about it. And then what about this? Your child in the middle of the night is crying. He's crying his head off. You hear him crying, but again, you do not move. You just lay there. You're not a doer. We learn by listening. But when we start doing, we begin to show proof of what we've just learned. We learn of God through his word that is spoken, but it's up to the person to do something after hearing the voice of God and then doing it in a manner in which he was called. In order to show obedience to God, we must live and do the word of God. A person who only hears the word of God and does nothing with it, he deceives himself. He thinks that he can just hear and then go on about living his life the way he wants to. He not only deceives himself, but he deceives others who are around. Now Jesus spoke the commandment of loving, loving God and others. What he meant was that we must complete this action, not in just words, but in our deeds as well. Now when I was in the military, I had orders that I had to follow. And those orders that were given to me were to obey the orders of the President of the United States and all officers over me. If I fail to obey any of those orders, then I face dire consequences. I face the punishment for my, from my superiors when I fail to do what I was supposed to do. The choice was up to me, either listen and obey, or uh, listen and don't obey the word. The choice was left up to me. Now God gives us a choice to make as well. He puts his word before us, but it's up to us to make the decision. The Bible tells us to seek God first and his righteousness above everything else. But what happens if I don't seek the advice from God? What if I do not want to seek his righteousness? What happens then? We hear his voice, but we make a decision to, uh, to do our own thing. The person who only hears the word will soon forget what he heard. And like I said before, Satan has no problem with that because you can't cause any problems to disrupt, disrupt his plans. He knows that whoever receives the word of God and does something with it, though, that person becomes a powerful force to be reckoned with. Now, we must receive the word of God with meekness. And that kind of reminds me of when my grandkids sit around and listen to me. Their minds are fixed on what I'm saying. And then they go out and they do what I've asked them to do. They have become obedient through their actions. They became doers. And then what they will receive after with the fact the rewards are far greater than they can ever imagine. Now, the person who hears and does what the word tells him is blessed and he's set free from the bondage of sin and death. The word, when listened to with an open mind, will free you from all temptations of this life and then give you a victorious one. And we can discover love, joy, and the peace of our souls. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give you as the world gives. Your heart must not be troubled or fearful. What well, is my time? I pray that you all have a blessed week. Be doers of the word of God when you hear it. One love, five minutes.